Hi subscribers, what's up? This is Vivs from Slidenerd here. In this video, I'll talk about how we can customize the toolbar a bit, how to set up action icons on the toolbar, make them clickable, navigate to other activities, how to reuse the toolbar across two different activities, and ultimately, how to set up up affordance or navigation with the help of the toolbar. So I updated my Android Studio after the previous video thanks to the recommendation of one of our subscribers and if you go here to the help section at the top and if you here click check for update you're going to be taken to a place where it's going to talk about the latest update. Now you can configure where you get those updates by clicking this updates dialog over here and if you see in your case mostly you must be running on stable channel but here I'm running on canary channel where some advanced versions pop up before they become stable and that way you can actually test whether the upcoming Android Studio version is going to be good or what kind of features it offers and stuff like that. So I've selected the Canary channel here and my version is 1.0 RC2 at the time of making this video. You are probably running on 0.8 at the time of making this video. So if I click OK now and if you say you already have the latest version of Android Studio installed it means of course there is no update available. But once you update then comes the real fun stuff. For once we see this Gradle build error which says that Gradle DSL method not found which is run ProGuard. In other words in Gradle when you want to release your app you have to tell Gradle whether you want to use ProGuard in your app or not and by default I have set it to false here by saying this run ProGuard false but this command is actually deprecated in this latest version of Gradle. You have to replace this with something called Minify enabled here and then if you click say false that means you are saying that you don't want to compress or obfuscate your code. So at this point you just have to go here and rebuild it at the top by saying build rebuild project and then now as you can see I have got rid of that gradle build error that I had. So at this point if you see there's two emulators running here one of them is the pre lollipop which is basically having this black status bar. The other one is the lollipop one where you can see the blue status bar and for some reason I'm not liking this color so I'm going to change the color of the toolbar and the status bar in this video which we were using in the last three videos. So the first place I would like to go and check out is going to be the material design docs where they talk about colors here and if you see here there's the yellow color I'm going to take this for a change I'm going to keep that as the primary color in our app which is yellow 500. So I can go here back and I can set the primary color at yellow 500 of course you need to remove the extra hash here and then the color dark is going to be a bit darker than what the 500 basically is so this is going to be FBC02D that you see here on the screen and for the accent color that's a nice challenge to think one of the best colors that I think can work with this yellow is going to be gray obviously but let's get some suggestions on what that so whenever the question comes about selecting the secondary color or the accent color one of the best sites I see all the time is coolers.co I like kind of working with your auto generated algorithm so I'll just go here enter my color which is hash FFEB3B the primary 500 color that we want just choose the color lock it and press spacebar to generate color schemes now this may look good but I don't prefer it and if you see further there are some other color schemes these guys have and this gray actually looks great for the accent color I can probably say set this gray up to give a nice contrast in our app other than that if you want to generate more colors you can try and check all the infinite combinations of possible colors out here so I'll simply go back here set the accent color as that gray that we saw right now of course add the hash over here and at this point I can go to app bar I can just set the color here by saying add the rate color so at this point let me ask you a question what if you wanted to change the entire app into a dark colored theme app in other words you want the background to be dark and let's see how we can do that you can go to styles.xml which is over here inside values and there inside your styles.xml you can specify a different theme by simply saying theme.appcompat.no action bar now this would essentially mean that you take up a complete dark background without an action bar in this case and of course for styles 21 which we have we don't have to change anything here because here our parent is app theme.base which is coming from styles.xml where our parent app theme.base is the common ancestor where we are doing all the stuff here. 
So now let's run the app and see what happens. Looks great, but here, as you can see, there's a nice problem in the app, and that is the title color. So if you're having a dark background, Android assumes that everything is going to be dark and it gives you bright text. But what if you want to change that? How do you do it? You go simply to the toolbar layout that is app underscore bar dot XML in our case. And here you specify a separate theme to be used by your toolbar. In other words, you go here and you say app theme. And here you can specify style theme overlay dot app compact dot action bar. Now let's see which one we want to use. We want dark text. In other words, we want a light theme. So we simply go here and say theme overlay dot app compact dot light. And let's see what happens when we run the app now. So at this point, I have accomplished the effect where the app bar is light, but the text is dark in my case. Of course, I can further customize the style by defining my own style, changing my own text color and stuff. Let me also show you how I can change this pop-up color. Well, let's say if you want to have a dark pop-up here, we can simply change its theme as well by going back here and we can add another attribute, which is app pop-up theme here so this will change the theme of that for example we can say style and we can have a dark one for this we can say theme overlay dot app compact dot dark over here so let's see how this would look let's so at this point as you guys notice if we go and click the overflow icon here we simply have a dark pop-up and also the overflow icon color seems to have changed according to the dark theme we selected what if we want to further customize the colors inside both these themes very simple we can make our own style if you're looking at this and you're saying okay the text color is fine but what if i want to change it to something else so let's make our own style where i'll show you how we can change the color of this text and this overflow icon here so we can simply go to our app underscore bar where i've said app theme is style theme overlay dot app compound dot light currently i'm using this as my style but what i'm going to do now is create a new style which is going to have a parent which is going to be this style that you see here in other words i'll go to styles.xml create my style here by simply saying style and i'll give it the name as my custom toolbar theme here and of course the parent is going to be this person that you are currently using right now so you go to app bar or xml you can take this theme from here just control x here and you go there and you specify the parent here as theme overlay dot app compact dot light and of course go back to app bar and specify the proper style which is going to be my custom toolbar theme now inside this style that we have made our custom style we can customize some of the attributes or in fact all the attributes that are specified by theme dot app compact dot light in other words to change the text color you would simply add an item here and you would say text color primary so this is going to let you change the text color of your app in other words you can just say red for example just to show you what it would look like and then to change the overflow icon you can simply go here and simply say item name and now to change the overflow icons color we can directly go here and we can say text color secondary over here and in this case just to take something and show you i'll simply take a blue color here i'm going to say 00f for blue color here and let's run this and see what happens so at this point our app runs and voila take a look at that the text color is red the overflow icons color is blue which means everything can be customized inside the toolbar all you need to do is make your own style and try to see which attributes you need to override in order to get that style running so in this video i've shown you how to customize the toolbar in the next video i'll talk about how to add action items to the toolbar how to make those items work and how to supply up affordance in your sub activities and activities with your toolbar not to mention the fact about how to reuse the toolbar between different activities in the meantime if you like what you saw please like this video share this video subscribe to slide note and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next video